already done a few videos about the Key Mission 80 and I've always felt that it's a hugely underrated action camera. So after having the camera for about six months, I now feel I can give a good six month review of the camera. Firstly, the video and stills are not gonna be better than a top end smartphone. I'm very happy with the quality of the video and stills and I would put them on par with my iPhone. The build quality and ease of use are excellent and that is what I feel sets it apart from a smartphone. So just taking it out of its case, you can take it out and you've got rubberized grip, which makes it easy to hold. It fits in the hand really easily. Let's just compare that to the size of a smartphone. So it's so much smaller than a smartphone. It's so much easier to operate, particularly in difficult circumstances. It's a one button operation and with your thumb, you can move around and you can control what you need to. Accessing the menu, accessing various features and switching from stills to video all with one hand. We go into setup features I really like are we can control the white balance we can control color options shooting in black and white if we need to it has vibration reduction which while isn't the best it does do something and I can control the frame rate between 25 and 30 which for me is really good because I will often use this as a second camera. So being able to match on frame rates is really important to me. We can also do time-lapse quite easily. And the time-lapse puts it into a video file rather than hundreds of JPEGs, which is very useful as well. But where the camera really excels, as I've discussed before, is in its form factor. So again, it's really easy to get out and start shooting. It's very easy to even swap the cameras around and do everything one-handed. So it comes with this case, and this case can, can be seen as um, a good thing or a bad thing. It's a good thing because as soon as you put it in the case, the camera turns off. As soon as you take it out of the case, the camera turns on. That's really good. You can easily attach it to a bag, a belt, a rucksack, and it means it's always ready. And with one hand, you can quickly take it out get it ready, start shooting, and you can record your action. Need to change something? You can do it one-handed quite easily. I found this feature particularly useful when teaching my children to ride a bike. So I could run along with them and I could get the camera out and I could start filming and then I could quickly put the camera away when I needed to and it was really good. In summary, it is not the best camera for video or stills, and the output is not suitable for professional situations. So if you're coming from a really top-end smartphone, you'll probably get better video and stills from that smartphone than you will with this camera. But this was never meant to be the best camera on the market in terms of video and image quality. This was meant to be a camera that was rugged, you could get out in a situation where you only perhaps could record with one hand. You can operate it with one hand and you can operate it while doing sports and activities and other things. And let's face it, you're probably not going to get your smartphone out in those situations. And certainly while running around with my children, teaching them how to ride a bike, I certainly wasn't going to get my smartphone out. I must say the SmartBridge smartphone app uh, I don't really rate and I don't really think is that good. But other than that, I am very pleased with this. And for six months in, I'm very happy and I use it a lot more than I thought I would.